We are now able to remove this form director's dependency from our bookmark scaffold component since it's not being used um, directly by this um, component. So I'll do that. Yeah. And then if I save, um, everything should still function the same. No errors in the console. And if I reload, yeah, that's fine. So we will come to our form component. Whenever we're using form directors from Angular, um, what Angular does is it upgrades all form elements to use Angular's own um, system for managing forms. So what we're doing here is um, we're going to create a local variable called title and then we'll assign it to, we'll give it a value of um, ng form. And what is happening here is that we are assigning the ng model which is associated with this input field um, to this title and variable. So to use this now, we can essentially um, do stuff like have an attribute binding on the class name of this input field and um, we'll test it with invalid. Um, I think it's, it's invalid rather. And then the value of this will be um, our title. So now we're able to use this variable so we'll say if title is not valid, we'll give it this class of invalid. And in order for this to kick in as well, um, we need this field to be required. So let's just test it with this one. So if I save and yeah, and then come here, edit. So if I delete this field, then we get this red border around it because um, this class of this invalid class is now being added to the form. Okay, so let's do the same for, or uh, let's make this valid now and uh, click on update. So if I click to add a bookmark, um, we see this red um, class added because the title is invalid. We don't want to add it straight away. We want to add this title if it's dirty and it's invalid. So again, um, because we've assigned uh, the model um, related to this input field to this variable, we're able to access uh, various properties. So like dirty or valid um, or pristine. Um, if you've used Angular 1, um, most of these um, names are pretty much the same. So um, dirty is when you've interacted with the form already. And if you haven't interacted with the form yet, um, it's pristine and uh, the value is pristine but um, we'll call it dirty. Um, so we want to show this is invalid class only if the title field has been interacted with and it's not valid. So let's save this and test it out. So it's valid. And if I delete all of that, it's now invalid. Okay. And um, it will still allow us to update, um, but then we'll fix that later on. What we'll do next is define a valid state for our um, input field. So um, this class is invalid, it's added. So there is also a, we'll have an attribute binding on class and then um, the class we actually wanna add is, is valid. And then um, it will be valid if the title is dirty and the title is valid. So let's test that one out. So if I add a bookmark, then Patron um, that is, val uh, is valid class is added and now it's got a green border around it. And of course these classes are all from Bootstrap. Um, so just go to the documentation to know um, which classes to use. Although we have validation kicking in, if it's invalid, um, we're still able to make updates. Um, so let's uh, find out how to resolve that. And the way we do that is to um, in this form itself, uh, we need a reference to this form's controller and then we will assign it to a template variable called BM form. And similar to what we did uh, with the title here, um, the value we'll pass it is our ng form. And then uh, we, need, we need to listen to the submit event of this form, which um, is ng submit in this case. And then when the form is submitted, we will invoke our update bookmark function. So I'm going to cut this from here and get rid of this click, simplify things a bit. And then um, I'll pass it in here. And what I'll do is um, I'll mutate um, this to take in our BM form variable. 
So if I save this, um, we should, yeah, we should get an error, which is fine. I uh, will fix it shortly. So now we'll come back to our form component and then update bookmark. We will receive um, what we passed in here, which is a, uh, which is our form control, which means that we can um, now check that if the form is valid, do these updates. So let's try this now. Click add bookmark. And if I click update, um, of course it's still happening. It shouldn't be so, um, which is because it's got an error to fix. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Um, the argument type is ng form. So it's ng form. So let's save that and try that again. So if I attempt to add a bookmark and I click update, still happening. Let's see if we still get errors. Okay, it succeeded. Okay, so we need to, we need to inform um, this form controller what our input um, fields are. And um, the way we do that is by defining an ng control property. And then uh, we'll give it a name of this control, so which is title. So if I save that and we refresh this and I click on add bookmark and I click update, yeah that shouldn't allow us to update now, which is because our title is invalid. So update now doesn't allow us to update. So try that again. And of course we don't see um, the error showing here uh, because if we look at our is invalid uh, condition, we show it when the title is dirty, i.e. it's been interacted with already and the title is invalid. So what we can do is have another condition uh, based on the form being submitted. But let's define a boolean value called submitted. And then under update bookmark, we set submitted to true. And then we'll come back to this template and then we'll amend this condition. So either um, title is dirty, dirty and not valid or um, the submitted key is set to true and the title is not valid. So let's save this and try this now. So if I click on add a bookmark and then I click on update. Okay, let's um, inspect the console to see why this is not working. And there's an error in the console. And then the error says failed assertion, boolean expression must not be null. Okay, um, I know what's happening. So if we come to our component, because we've now assigned this a value and um, by default it's set to null. So what we want to do is um, set it to false, save that, close that. And then um, if I add a bookmark and click update, there we go. You see this here now. We are now able to add a um, validation message. So um, after here, I'll create a div and I'll do an attribute binding on the hidden uh, property. And we want to hide it. We want to hide this message if the title is valid or if the title is pristine, so has not been interacted with yet and our form hasn't been submitted. So if any of these conditions are true, um, then we want this um, hidden um, property to be set to true, which will hide this div. And then uh, we'll give this a class of invalid feedback so this class is from twitter bootstrap and then the message here will be please enter a title so this is our feedback and um, just to let the user know wow let the user know why this field is invalid so let's test it again if we add a bookmark and click on update there we go please enter a title and then once we enter a valid title the error message disappears and now the field highlight is green then we can uh, move ahead okay so let's add validation for this um let's add controls for the other fields as well um, including this url so if we come down here um, our text area won't be required we'll set this as optional and we'll make this field um, valid either way so we'll have the is valid class if the description field is dirty and if the description field is valid 
For our URL field, we'll make this field required. We'll create a local variable called URL and assign um, the ng model for this input field to this localized variable. And then um, yeah, we'll add um, our valid and invalid classes. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. And then um, change all of that to our URL. We define the ng control and we set it to URL. So the whole form knows about this um, this field now. The last thing we need to do, I'll shift this upwards. We need to add a validation message. So which will be similar to this one here. I'll put please enter a URL and I'll change these to URL and I save. Okay, we've got some exceptions. The getter description isn't defined, which is because we need to assign ng form to our description variable. Save that and then add a bookmark, click on update. If you get an error, please add a title, please enter a URL. Our patron there, uh, the green, the is valid class is added, and then um, and now we can submit our form. And when I click on that, it still takes me to the patron website, so the links still work. And then um, if I attempt to make an edit here and I remove details from the field, it says please enter a URL. And if I attempt to update, it won't let me update, um, which is correct, till it's valid. And once I click update, it updates it. So just to recap, um, for each of our fields, um, we've created a local, a localized variable um, for this template. And then um, for this local variable, we've assigned um, the value of the ng form, which is associated with each of our form controls, which means that we're able to interrogate this variable for properties like dirty and valid. Um, and pristine and then what we um, have done here is um, we're doing an attribute binding so we're binding to the class of this um, of our form controls and then um, specifically we're setting these classes um, based on the value of this expression so if this expression values to true then this class will be set and of course if it's not true then the class will be um, not set or it will be removed and then um, what we proceeded to do is also create um, a localized variable representing um, this form. And then also we assigned um, the um, ng form controller or the controller that represents the whole form to this variable. Also to tell this form about each of our um, form controls, um, we set um, this directive ng control and then we gave it a name. So that means this form um, now knows about this input field um, and its uh, validity um, state. And because of that, when we submit, um, we invoke update bookmark. And then in here, uh, we're able to check whether the form is valid. So this valid prop is um, calculated because the form controller um, looks at all our form controls and it checks the validity state. If any of them is not valid, then form.valid will be set to false as expected, which is why as a click update, um, it still remains on the form till um, we validate it. Okay, what happens when we click cancel? Um, of course, once we click cancel, this also happens, which we don't want to happen. So let's fix it for cancel. The way we can do that is if we come here for cancel, we're setting bookmark.edit to false. So what we can do is we want to show this cancel button if our and uh, we're going to use this um, local variable vm form so what we want to do is to use another directive um, called ngif we've used this already and we want to show this cancel button if our form has not been interacted with yet and um, our form is valid so let's see what that looks like so if i click add a bookmark you don't see it and then of course when we hit update we get an error and then it's now successful and when i click edit i should see cancel there and when i click cancel it will bring me back here okay before we round out this video let's test everything fully now so um, if i click edit i should be able to see that cancel button 
if I add a bookmark, um, should not be able to see that console button. Click and update will show this error message and then uh, we'll fix it. And we click update and it's added. And uh, what happens if we click edit and um, this field becomes invalid? Okay, it shows enter a URL by the console button disappears. So, um, so I think this doesn't solve our problem. So if we go to our model, we'll add, we'll create a new property um, called this, I'll call it is fresh. So um, this will initially be set to true. And then any update made to this bookmark, this will be set to um, false essentially. So I'll have that property here, it's fresh. And then have it here for update. So then um, if we come back to this form, we do ng if, um, well, if our bookmark is not fresh. And then in here, what we'll do is we'll set is fresh to false where we submit and we update our bookmarks so this will happen when we first add our bookmark we set is fresh to false which means that we need to set is fresh to true for um, each of these sorry we need to set these to false we need to set is fresh to false because if we look at our model by default is set to true because um, each new component we create is fresh is set by default to true which um, hides the console button here for us let's test this one more time so if I delete this and I click on edit and this is invalid um, the console still remains there flutter.dev update we add a new bookmark we don't see the console we attempt to update of course, we see an error and then uh, once we fix it, it's good. Join the community, um, all green, click update, there we go. And we can also visit the website in this new tab. Okay, this now brings me to the end of this video and also um, the end of the series. I hope this video has been informative and that you learned something different. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button um, so that you are updated when future videos are released. Um, also, if you've got any questions, do let me know down in the comments. I do read and respond whenever I can. I've got a course on Egghead at the moment called Get Started with Dart, which just gives you an overview of the basics of the Dart language um, with some examples as well. It only lasts half an hour, so it shouldn't take you um, that long to um, go through it. Also, um, don't forget to read, follow, subscribe, uh, visit my website at creativebracket.com. Thank you.